Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this short video I did want to talk about a, an email that I got in this week and uh, I've gotten these emails a few times before and it is about break-in period, quote-unquote break-in period. What do I mean by that? Well, you just finished restoring your car like you see the 66 on the lift right there or say like the 70 convertible that I've had done since uh, last year and say you just finished a car and there is a so-called break-in period. Say you rebuilt the motor, like you see this motor right here. Brand new rebuilt motor, 1300. This is an F case that's going into a 66 convertible project that we are working on. So say the car's all done and there's a break-in period. What do I mean by this? Rick Higgins, I learned from uh, back in the day when it uh, came to rebuilding motors, a break-in period is basically about a three to 500 mile uh, period just out of the gate. So the car is all done. You're just out of the gate. You got to run the car. Now, when it comes to the motor, the first thing you really want to do is uh, probably run it for about 25 minutes, a half an hour, or 25 miles, something like that. And you're going to want to break the motor in just a little bit there. Then you're going to want to come back, get it up on your lift, or get it up on your jack stands or whatnot, drop the oil, okay? Put some fresh oil in again, again two and three quarter quarts of oil. Most of the time we're just using basic oil guys. Nothing fancy with these cars. Okay, so basic oil, I mean Sitco or just any generic brand is fine. And I use here in New York the 1030 weight or straight 30. Uh, if you're in a hotter climate, you might want to think about a thicker oil, but generally speaking, uh, 1030 weight is it. I don't use synthetic. I don't use anything fancy. The oil today is much better than what the oil was back then. So even the cheapest brand today is going to be just fine for your motor. So then after you run it for about 25 minutes or 25 miles, half an hour, something like that, then you go about another 300 miles or 500 miles, and then you're going to want to do another oil drop. So right around 300 miles to 500 miles, drop the oil, fresh oil again, and then adjust the valves. So now you're basically at zero again. You're at the you know, very beginning. This is where then you can take off and do every 3,000 miles for oil and then 6,000 for valves. So it's 25 miles, half hour, the first break in, drop the oil, fresh oil, run it for 300 miles or so, drop the oil again, do a valve adjustment, and then you're good from there. Uh, you will see then at that point if there's any quirks or anything that has to be adjusted, you know, you're going to start to see these things, you know, uh, within that period. And usually within a three to 500 mile break-in period, you'll be able to see what's going on. If the motor's overheating or not, if your timing is set right, if your carb still needs to be adjusted, things like that. And then also when it comes down to the car, you know, if your car, uh, you know, you know, feel the brakes, feel the clutch, you know, is the car pulling to one side? Uh, do you hear any whistling noises? Do you hear any rumbling noises? Do you hear any clunking noises? You know, you're going to see these things and hear these things, uh, you know, while you're first out of the gate, the first few hundred miles. It's just the nature of the beast. It's very, very rare that you'll be able to drive right out and everything be absolutely perfect. Uh, there's always something that's going to most likely come about. And why, again, you know, we're at the mercy of new parts today, aftermarket parts, things like that. We don't have the 100-point inspection uh, uh, facilities like the factory had to go over everything tooth and nail. So you have to go out and run these things and make sure everything is tip top. So that's basically it. You know, a lot of times when we're driving these things too, you get a smell. You might smell some smoke. You might smell some burning. You know, again, if you just had your tins uh, powder coated or painted, something similar to this, so even this uh, stainless steel muffler, you know, starts to get a little discolored over time. You know, all that stuff starts to have an odor. There's, there is a break-in period with things like that, with paint and powder coat and, and such, and even rubber and, you know, a lot of different things come about when you're first driving the car. You know, and I just find it, uh, you know, fascinating. Some people tell me they start smelling this, they smell that, the brakes do this, the brakes do that, right out of the gate, and they're only doing, you know, they have 10 miles on the car. It's like, this is the nature of it. This is the hobby you have to fix, you have to tinker to get it to your liking. You know, it's just what it is. So uh, break in period, guys. That is a quick video on that and uh, what to expect when you, you know, you just finish restoring a car. Um, 
a lot of nooks and crannies and bugs have to be uh, ironed out. So if you've got any questions, uh, please email me, chris at classicvwbugs.com. And if you can, please like, subscribe, hit that uh, the bell, get notifications, and for the price of a cup of coffee, if you don't mind, please uh, send a small donation. It doesn't matter how much it is uh, to our PayPal donation link in the, in the description below. And uh, that helps fuel our videos and helps keep this content going and keeping you guys abreast of what is happening in the vintage Volkswagen scene. We do appreciate you. All right, guys, take care.